Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sikhir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. They discussed local issues and topics that support and reinforce the national march through achieving the goals of sustainable development. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain will continue to work towards further development to live up to the people's aspirations. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their continued efforts to improve the work of the government and its level of services for adopting initiatives that support the national economy. His Majesty also thanked the Cabinet for its work in service of the Kingdom and its people, stressing the importance of continuing efforts that enhance the government's productivity. He commended the dedication of the people of Bahrain in all fields of work and their efforts in supporting the Kingdom's development. His Majesty the King also received the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom during his tour of the GCC countries. The Secretary General briefed the King about preparations for, as well as the political, economic, security and military issues listed on the agenda of the 37th GCC Summit, which will be hosted in Bahrain this December. His Majesty welcomed hosting the summit in Bahrain and wished the GCC leader success in making achievements that live up to the people's aspirations and ambitions of further unity, based on a common goal and destiny, as well as reinforcing the march of joint Gulf action. He lauded the wisdom of the GCC leaders, which has steadily guided this march, and added that it embodies the highest level of solidarity and cohesion amongst the people of the GCC. His Majesty expressed appreciation to the efforts of Al Zayani and all the GCC Secretariat General's employees to support joint GCC action and reinforce coordination and cooperation between the brotherly countries in order to achieve further accomplishments in various fields. For his part, Dr. Al Zayani expressed appreciation for the wise directives and support of His Majesty the King, which increased the gains of the GCC citizens. He also expressed pride in His Majesty's support of the General Secretariat's efforts towards reinforcing GCC joint action following up the execution of the decisions of GCC leaders, the Ministerial Council and the Specialised Ministerial Committees. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today visited the Bahrain International Circuit, BIC, during which he viewed the conclusion of the first edition of the Bahrain Motorsport Festival. The festival includes the FIA World Endurance Championship, Babco Six Hours of Bahrain, and the CIK FIA World and World Junior Championship. During the visit, the Crown Prince noted that Bahrain continues to be the launchpad for motorsport events in the region, and that Bahrain Motorsport Festival highlights the role that Bahrain International Circuit has played in driving significant motorsports growth in the region over the past decade. The Crown Prince also spoke about the crucial role of motorsport events in expanding the Kingdom's fast-growing tourism sector, whether through increased hotel stays or footfall for shops and restaurants. The Crown Prince emphasised that Bahrain's flagship motorsport events offer an exciting opportunity to demonstrate the Kingdom's welcoming environment and commitment to delivering world-class facilities and events. His Royal Highness concluded by highlighting the benefits motorsport events bring to the region, adding that the Bahrain International Circuit is a shining example of Bahrain's long-standing commitment to advancing infrastructure and entertainment facilities within the Kingdom. Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain International Circuit BIC, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, Chairman of the International Karting Committee, CIK, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Chairman of the BIC's Board of Directors, Araf Rahimi, honoured the first place winners in the World Karting Championship. This weekend, Bahrain flagged off three exciting days of intense competition at the home of motorsport in the Middle East. More in this report with Mohamed Janahi. The Bahrain Motorsport Festival is of a huge significance to the international motor racing community. Three of the eight world championship under the International Automobile Federation, the FIA, are being decided in the kingdom. 
as the home of motorsports in the Middle East and the Bahrain International Circuit, we're very honored to have three world championships running this weekend, today and tomorrow. Uh, we're very excited because it's the first time we have three championships. Uh, from karting, we have 150 drivers in WEC total, about two. So collectively, there are 270. And uh, we look forward to a great championship and we hope people join us. The Bobco 6 race of Bahrain marks the ninth and final round of the 2016 FIA WEC season. Several titles are set to be decided in the kingdom, including the FIA World Endurance Drivers' Championship, which has come down to two horse race between the team of Porsche and the Toyota team. Only 17 points separating the two teams, with the Porsche boys in the lead, promising a very tight and exciting finish. Other championship other than the FIA World Endurance Championship, the CIK FIA World Championship and the CIK Junior Championship will be decided as well in the festival which is headlining the event. Well, we're always proud of, of uh, hosting these large events here and showing the capability of young Bahrainis, young and old Bahrainis, <laughs> I won't be biased towards the young. Uh, and, and to show the world that, that we, can, we can host uh, these events at an international level uh, and, and be proud of it. I mean, we've, you've seen us go to other countries and, and, and help with their events. Uh, so in our own country, we, we do the best we can. And uh, it's just an opportunity for us to show the rest of the world uh, the hospitality of Bahrainis and how, uh, uh, you know, how we take care of our guests. So. The festival is a massive logistical undertaking with over 268 drivers from all over the world competing in their various categories and another 1,046 team members playing their part during the weekend. Overall we have like five, five international events which is the three of those events that I mentioned plus the Formula One as well as the WTCC. So this is uh, something uh, big for Bahrain that we're hosting three international world uh, events in one weekend um, run by Bahraini uh, marshals as well as uh, management. If we're talking about the Bahrain International Circuit and the Bahrain Motor Federation and the Motorsport Marshals Club. All this gathered together to uh, make this event as a successful event and uh, we thank everybody that have given us the support uh, to make this event a successful event. The WEC will be staging the final round of its 2016 season with the Bobco race of Bahrain. The karting world marks the only SIK FIA event of the year being held outside of Europe and it's almost the most significant at the sports grassroots level. The festival also features a pair of supporting championship in Bahrain bred Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East and the Indian based MRF Challenge. All of this has been concluded today in the Kingdom of Bahrain and especially at the home of motorsports in the Middle East, the Bahrain International Circuit. Reporting for Bahrain International, this is Hamad Janah. A very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,181 points, marking an increase of 0.74 points above last closing. The increase was in the investment sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 54% of total shares. 40 transactions included 937,778 shares worth 263,389 Bahraini dinars.
Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Janahi. Porsche were crowned endurance champions after the six-hour Bahrain race on Saturday. The race itself going to Audi in the last event after 18 years in the class. It was an emotional final round of the 2016 World Endurance Championship, which climated in the six hours of Bahrain race in what would be Porsche's driver Mark Webber's final competitive up behind the wheel. The second Porsche car knew the world title would be theirs if they could keep out of trouble in Bahrain. But steady driving at the finish brought the car home in sixth place, enough to give them the world crown to add to their Le Mans win earlier in the season.